Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I got asked how I got started on YouTube, so I figured I would share my story with you guys. So when I first got started on YouTube, it was right when my, right after my daughter had passed away. Um, she had special needs and it was just like a really, really hard time. Um, she had strokes in my stomach when I was pregnant. Um, I had really hard pregnancies, all three of them. It just like wasn't magical time for me like at all, but I love my girls and I wouldn't change any of them. They're all perfect. But um, so she passed away when she was three and I was just like in a really sad place in my life. And um, I had my second daughter already and I just felt like I needed something to like I don't know do kind of for myself because at that time my second daughter she was still like a baby so she would sleep a lot you know what I mean like that's what babies do so I just had all this free time where I would just like sit and think and dwell and get really really sad um, because I mean when you have like a baby they can't really keep you crazy busy because all they do is like pee poop and sleep you know so I just had a lot of, too much free time on my hands um, so I always had watched makeup videos since I was like in college um, and when I was a kid, I loved makeup. Like I remember stealing like my mom's makeup and I would just like pack it on and just look obnoxious, but she would let me play in it anyway. And she'd be like, girl, you look good. Even though I'm sure I look like an eight year old prostitute, but she was just so supportive and just always so like, eh, let me just be me. Um, so I definitely was still like that in college. And so I would just, a lot of the times when I was sad and stuff, I would watch a lot of YouTube videos um, of just makeup just to kind of like not think about my daughter who had passed away um and then one night i was like drinking wine and i was like you know what i spend so much time watching these videos like when the baby goes down for not why don't i like try to make my own so i was like okay and you got this so you know you're way more confident when you drink wine of course you're like you have superpowers instantly so broke out my little macbook pro thing like and I use like the video, like the video camera that's in the MacBook Pro, and I'm like trying. If you guys watch my first video, it's so funny. I'll link it, but I'm like this in my bathroom, and I'm like whispering because I didn't want to wake the baby. I'm like, hey guys, welcome to my first video, and it's so funny because my husband was like, oh, that's a really good video, and it looks so good, and um, he was definitely just being nice, but it was just. I mean, I still feel like my videos aren't amazing or perfect, but I feel like my videos now are way more me. Um, I feel like my personality comes out in them more um, because my first videos, like the first two years, I feel like I was just so scared um, because I was already in like a scary place with losing my daughter. So I was very like vulnerable. So I didn't want anyone to be mean to me on there because I didn't know if like my heart could take it. Um, and then... I finally just like stopped giving a fuck because I stopped when I started getting into like the law of attraction which I feel like helped me like incredibly and that's why I make these videos but um and I started reading like different books and then I was like you know what that's when I got more confident and I was like you know what? if people like me they like me I hope they do but if they don't I don't really care because there's just an abundant of people out there who watch YouTube and I mean there's got to be at least like maybe five people who like me like where's my friends at you know like at least my friends like me they'll watch whatever um and it'll keep me busy and get me out of that like dark scary like spot um and then i just kind of moved around like still using my laptop sometimes i think i use my cell phone and then i would just move different places in the house because i didn't i still don't know lighting like i'm the worst um and then i kind of was just like you know what i would spend like I would save up some money and then like buy some lights that didn't really work out and then um so then I started growing a little bit on Instagram because it was before the algorithm when people could actually like find you easier and things were like way cooler um so I started growing on there so then I kind of focused more on that and I wouldn't say I gave up YouTube I just like didn't put as much like into it because I really liked Instagram because I felt like I was meeting more people I was able to engage with more people um, and so I saved up money and I finally got myself a good camera and I know there's way better cameras out there that are like super professional but um, to me what I have which is a Sony a5000 is perfect for me because like I said I like doing makeup I like being creative like that's my passion um, technology and like the whole stuff behind it is not I love old YouTube 
when it was just like way more real and not so commercialized I guess um so that's kind of why like I don't really care if my videos aren't like super professional but I do love this backdrop it's actually curtains I got from Marshalls for like ten dollars hey super fancy um so that's basically how I got started and it just like became like a really great hobby to have to like find myself again like remember who i am and to just have a minute away from like the stresses of the world um because it was just like really tough losing her and i still i still think about her all the time i get her pictures around the house i talk about her like she's still here um but doing this definitely has given me a way to just be happy again um and not fake it like be like I wake up and I love spending time with my other daughters um and this is just something for me that I really really love and I feel like if she didn't pass away I probably never would have started it so I feel like a lot of my videos like she's always in the back of my mind because I feel like I came so far because of her um and I've had so many incredible opportunities and I definitely want to tell you guys like I get asked all the time I want to start I want to start but like I don't have the best camera I don't have the best lighting this that like as long as you're passionate and you can see who you are through the video and you're not like putting on a front or trying to be the next Jaclyn Hill or trying to be the next Carly Bible or trying to be like the next blah, 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 it doesn't matter like people I feel like they want somebody who they can relate to I know when I watch a video I don't care about like all the glitz and the glamour and like all oh, the perfect teeth and body and like I'm just so cool type of style I just like somebody who's just like chill real not trying to just sell me like garbage and it's just like a normal person um so yeah that's kind of how i got started and like i said my channel is nowhere near like perfect but if this can get somebody else to like get the confidence to start because i feel like everybody has one life to live and it's like stupid short and i definitely realized how short it is with losing my daughter um they should definitely always take that chance that they think they want to do because you never know like when your time is up and you don't want to end up becoming like in your you don't want to end up becoming in your 60s and being like you know what I wish I would have took that chance because I feel like that's when people realize like how short life is when it's a little too late so I hope this video helps you guys and gives you a little confidence to start at motivation and if you guys have decided to start a channel let me know so I can follow you I love supporting and I just love you guys so much and I'm so so grateful and thank you guys so much for watching